they go then. Alfred the butler pushes them off. Joker on one side, Batman on the other. Working in tandem this time. Over the ramp they go. No problem so far. Now the chicane. Gathering speed. Can they keep it straight? Alfred's got the drinks in, ready for when they finish. The gravel trap safely negotiated. Now they start to get quicker and quicker and quicker. Round the left-hander towards the right-hander with this dangerous jump to come. There it is. Starts to go, starts to wobble, hits the wall. They get it back again, but they can't keep it. Batman's gone, the Joker's gone, his trousers are gone. His underpants are hanging out. And the Batmobile didn't make it down to the bottom. Despite the ten wheels, despite the hard work, they couldn't get round the tricky part of the circuit. And Batman and the Joker come a cropper before the end. So there's the performance. Quite a performance as well. Notice Batman and Robin coming out on top again. Cake Crusaders, just don't crash this soapbox. It's too good to crash. Just get it down in one piece. They've worked so hard on this. Batman and Robin on the way down in Montreal. Nice and tidy over the first ramp. Everything's still in one piece. Most of the crowd keeping their fingers crossed that this thing doesn't go bang on the way down. Around the burn. A little bit wobbly through there, but OK. And now building up speed towards the ramp at the end. The Batmobile doing its stuff. The Batmobile safe over there. A little parachute at the end to slow it down. Little gadget that they've put in. 31.04. Not the fastest run today, but when you factor in the creativity, this one will score well. It's the handlebars and the wheel. It's the, the tricycle method here for the soapbox. Let's see what happens on the way down. That's Rui. Face etched in concentration. And it's a nice smooth start over the cobbles at the top. You can see him trying to lean into the corners and out the corners to try and give them the best possible way to keep the momentum going. No problem over the first challenge of the run, which is the Marquis steps. And it's nice and quick and smooth through there. This one's absolutely flying down the circuit. Here we go towards the, uh, the stairs. Nice and fast over that, really straight as well. There was no wobble at all. He's been in complete control right the way down. If he can keep this speed up, we could have quite a time here. Echo Batmobile flying down towards the finish line and over it, 30.31, what a time. The fastest today by quite some distance. Off they go then, and we'll see whether this is any quicker. It's certainly quicker off the start ramp, shaking down those cobbles. There's the berm and that's, oh, he's just caught the top, look. He tried to do what they need to do, which is go high and then slingshot off it. But as you can see, that front wheel gets caught on the top rail and it literally gets, well, almost ripped off the soapbox. There you see it from on board and he'd lost it straight away. Tried to go high, went too high, and that really is the only way you can get the soapbox down to the finish. And they've got the Joker's notorious low rider car, Lee's the pilot, and they've got a very, very high creativity score, 37 out of 40. And you can see why, 35 for the performance as well. A good time here might well make this one the team to beat here in London today. But they've got to be quick down the course. They're through the Lido, but they're going to have to get quicker than this. That's impressive too with the green smoke. Over the lolly drop, more green smoke. Moving towards the speed trap, let's see how fast they are. I'd say early 20s, based on what we've seen so far today. There we go, 23. Now they go over the Grand Slammer. Very spectacular, this one, despite one or two little pieces coming off. Moving towards the Sizzler, over the Sizzler. It's been solid, it's been unspectacular, but it's a very creative soapbox with a good performance at a time of 44.69, which is a very good all-round team display by you Gotham be kidding me again. We've got Batman, Robin, the Joker and Penguin. And they've done a magnificent job on this one, haven't they? Nice and colourful. Looks like a Lego soapbox. Whether it's going to be as sleek and as quick as the Batmobile on the way down remains to be seen. Batman behind the wheel gets a push-off from Robin, the Joker and Penguin. And not the best of starts, certainly not the best. Oh, the wheels have gone already. Oh, dear. They didn't really make it past the piston, did they? And the wheels, the front wheels just completely went all that hard work. 
and you can see the disappointment on Batman's face. He'll put a brave face on it. I had so many high hopes for this one. It just wasn't to be today.